It's a very difficult time um, for our community. It's really with a heavy heart that I talk to you. But we are in the process of working together with uh, all law, enforce law enforcement, especially the El Paso Police Department, the Texas Department of Public Safety, and the FBI. Also with the U.S. Attorney's Office, we will proceed with the investigation. Uh, I can tell you from the outset, the charge, the state charge is capital murder. And so he is eligible for the death penalty. Uh, we will seek the death penalty. We are conducting a methodical investigation with our partners, a careful investigation, but with a view towards bringing federal hate crimes charges under 18 U.S.C. 249 and federal firearms charges, which carry a penalty of death. We are also treating this as a domestic terrorist case. There's a statutory definition of domestic terrorism at 18 U.S.C. 2331. This meets it. It appears to be designed to intimidate a civilian population, to say the least. Basically, from the manifesto that we first saw, we have to attribute that manifesto directly to him based on that information in that manifesto. That's where that came from. And so we're going down that road that's beginning to look more solidly like that is the case. Well, approaching or responding officers, I believe the Texas Department of Public Safety was involved in that particular arrest. Uh, when he saw the officers approaching the scene where he was at, he basically surrendered. And that was over on the farther west side from the low shooting site. Yes, he was uh, forthcoming with information. Uh, he uh, basically didn't hold anything back. Particular questions were asked, and he responded in uh, the way it needed to be answered.